You know, Steve, every year the archery industry really does improve itself. I mean, it's amazing to watch a new technology emerge and every year they're getting better and better and better. In fact, the bow that I'm about ready to show you is 93% efficient, unreal. You know, seven years ago, this bow hit the market. It was by Bowtech and it was called the Guardian. It was revolutionary. It didn't look like anything else before it. It's got a binary cam system on it. It had that center pivot that moved the fulcrum, which moved the entire settling time, made it a lot less noise and vibration in the bow. It was more accurate. The limb was stabilized and we went parallel. I mean, there was a lot of innovation in this product. And here we are seven years later. I remember when this bow came out, it's on the cover of all the magazines and it looks so so futuristic at the time, it, nothing looked like it. This year emerged a brand new technology, the fastest thing that I've ever shot an arrow through. It's unbelievable. It's a new RPM 360 by Bowtech. There are five attributes on this bow that are different than anything else in the marketplace that are unique to itself. So this is RPM 360. Is that telling me that it's 360 feet per second? Dude, IBO, 360 feet a second. The draw force curve, when I looked at the chart, I was off the hook. I couldn't believe my eyes. I've been looking at this thing, and there's a lot of things about it that I see are different. The riser, uh, tell me tell me about the riser. What's what's the big change Well, there? a riser is really important because we talk about deflex and reflex risers, and obviously I've done a lot of coverage on that. But the riser is the backbone of the bow. It has to be strong, especially with the fact that we're moving so many moving parts. We're striking it so hard at 360 feet a second. We're generating so much inertia that the riser is completely redesigned and unlike anything else that Bowtech has ever done. If you look at the front of the riser right here, it's really, really stiff and it's much wider than the rear of the riser on this end. And then also the I-beam cutouts. Each one of these are designed for strength and vibration reduction and ergonomically and to take weight out, but it's pretty impressive. They made a big change in the axle, it looks like to me, where it looks very similar to a, a camshaft in a racing engine. You're right, it has splines in it, and as you start to draw the bow and you overlap, when you come to full draw, that let off makes the cam stop hit at the exact same time. And the last thing, a big attribute, this is probably the greatest thing in the entire archery industry as far as tunability goes. What they've done is they've done a split bus cable on either side of the limb. We talk a lot about cam lean and what that means. And our goal is when we fire that arrow, we want every force moving down the center of the bow into the arrow. We want to try to get that arrow in full gyro moving in that direction in order for it to stabilize and hit and be more accurate. And that's what we're able to do. We're able to completely tune this bow for the first time. No other bow on the market has that. And then they've added these uh, new, new vibration reduction technology, you know, around the bow again. And the draw force curve, 360 feet a second. I look back at that. The way it looked seven years ago and the way it is today, this bow right here is probably the most technologically advanced bow I've ever shot in my life. And Bud, I think I found the right product for you. Man, I'm so excited to go shoot this thing. You know what? I got a bet for you. I'll bet you that that Bowtech RPM 360 is faster than your dragster. So we're gonna put it all on the line for pinks here. So I don't know if I have a pink slip for a bow, but I'll tell you what, you better do the math because I'm gonna whoop your butt, buddy. <laughs> If we're putting it all on the line, it looks like I'm leaving here with a new Bowtech bow. Well, I mean, give me that back. You haven't earned it yet. Jim and Steve battle it out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Did we care to mention the fastest bow ever developed? Speeds in excess of 360 feet per second versus 10,000 horsepower and over 330 miles per hour? Now we know Jim and Steve are very competitive. It's time to get it on. We live where science and marvels connect. Some of the smartest minds are designing and innovating cutting edge technology to make us better in the field. This is High Tech Hunting. You know, from week to week, we do a lot of testing on every product that we evaluate. And this testing has actually turned into a little competition between Steve and I. And we've got a bet on Pink's whether his dragster can outshoot my brand new 360 RPM. It's not a little competition. This is all out battle. That's right. And I've gotten the math done here, and there's no possible way that you're gonna beat me. I'm leaving here with a new Bowtech bow. The difficulty I have with the test is my bow will release all of its energy up front. The instant I release the arrow, it starts at full speed and it slowly decelerates. The problem I have is taking all that power and getting it to the track so that I can get up to speed quickly. 
We estimated that our speeds will cross at about 300 yards. Well, how about we just ante up, high stakes, and go to Vegas and try it out? My arrow's gone by the time you even get to speed. Your arrow hasn't even thought about leaving yet. What are you talking you, about? You haven't even I'm gonna pull the trigger, and I'm gonna accelerate in full gyro, a, a 350 grain arrow into the air. And while you're still spinning the tires, right? And then you're, t and then you're gonna start to hook, and then the race is gonna be over. You want me to bring you your arrow back? What happens in Vegas will be told on Outdoor Channel. <laughs> Jim and Steve battle it out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Did we care to mention the fastest bow ever developed? Speeds in excess of 360 feet per second versus 10,000 horsepower and over 330 miles per hour? Now we know Jim and Steve are very competitive. It's time to get it on. This has got to be one of the most unique drag races in history. In the left lane, Jim Bernward, professional bow hunter, with the new Bowtech RPM 360. In the right lane, world champion drag racer Steve Torrin, with over 16,000 horsepower, with one of the fastest drag strips to ever hit a drag strip. 330 yards. Head to head competition, right back. Are you really still upset about this? You know what, a little bit, but I mean, it was a really great moment. The most violent thing that I've ever been around in my life is that fire breathing 10,000 horsepower, fastest thing to 300 miles an hour on wheels in the world. I mean, I just, I cannot believe that that car beat the arrow. I'll be honest with you now, I really didn't know if it would or not. Most unique drag race I've ever had racing an arrow and it does bring a little bit of light to how quick those cars are. Right. It's just it really like does. being strapped to one of those arrows. Yeah, it's unreal. Hey, my hat's off to you. Thanks a lot. Brother, there is your brand new 360. I don't have a pink slip, but it, the owner of that new 360 is you. Thank you. So, congratulations. Thanks. Until we race next time. <laughs>